Good morning. We are waking up behind the Muskoka Information Center at Kashi Barron's Trailhead. Enjoying the quiet of being out of Toronto, we got started with our morning routine. While Karma got a little restless and started dropping subtle hints that we should be hitting the road soon. So we packed up the loaf and made our way to Huntsville. Hey everybody. We are here in Huntsville. Yeah. Checking out their display, uh, their displays of the Proof of Seven. Yeah. Check out their art on their uh, manuals that they have. Yeah, all over there. They have a bunch of pictures everywhere. So we're just going to go and walk around the, the place, walk around Huntsville, and yeah, check it out. Come oh. along. And we must tell you, this is our first time that we can actually smell the wildfires burning around us. Yeah. It's a little daunting, but. Hopefully we're, we'll be all right here in town, so yeah. let's do this. Mm Um, there was a website and I was trying to figure out if it would tell us where things were. No, it doesn't. It doesn't tell us anything, no. I know, that's why I went to it yesterday and I was like, fuck. Is that a go seven girl? Wanna go see this? Oh, I'm like walking in the middle of the road. I'm from Lakeshore. Very sad. Oh, it's it's called Northern River. Northern. Send an angry email to the mayor of Hudson. Come here, shit, so we can see it. Yeah. On a dark alleyway, they have another lovely picture that we. This is nice though. Yeah. The red maple. I don't know if I can get her. I'm gonna have From 1920 to 1933, a group of artists came together to develop a distinct Canadian art style through direct contact with nature. With the wild of North Ontario as their muse, the group of seven created the most beautiful collection of landscape paintings the world has ever seen, (laughs) in my opinion. Originally seven, more members were added later. Tom Thompson, arguably the most famous of the bunch, was never actually a member but served as inspiration for the group, as he died three years before their formation. The Group of Seven Outdoor Gallery is a self-guided tour through the town of Huntsville and its surrounding areas. Artists all over Canada have come together to create these stunning collections of world-class murals, each hand-painted in celebration of the Group of Seven and Tom Thompson. We tried to find as many of the 38 murals as we could as we snaked our way through the town. Oh, 
Well, this is Tom Thompson, or Tom Thomas. <laughs> he tricked us. This guy. After the great fire of Huntsville in 1894, the All Saints Anglican Church was built and opened the very next year. Look at the door, little door. Yeah. Oh, there's the window. Okay. I, was, I knew there was going to be more. Another one over there, but it looks like they shortened it up already. There's always one. As far as we understand, yeah. I think this concludes our our walkabout that we know of. Yeah. If there was a map, we'd understand better. Yeah, this is it's a little bit confusing. These kind of scattered about in all the different alleyways here. Oh, let's go check out these canoes. I think they got some cool canoes here over there. The, uh, this place, this Huntsville area, is really like artistically oriented and motivated. They have tons of little like. Wicked little boxes all painted up, and they got like a dis canoe display over here that there's all these amazing canoes. Oh, wow. That one. Um, I don't think so. And there's a big mural on that wall, too. No, we definitely didn't see the mural. Well. I think there's also the stuff. Yeah. It's in that style. Wow, oh, look at how cool these are. Oh, the northern lights are super cool. Wow, yeah. That's cool. Okay, let's walk over and see this pull this way here then. Sorry guys, we played a trick on you. We found at least one more picture. Oh, I think we found two.
Located 10 kilometers west of Burke Falls on Midlothian Road lives a retired school teacher, Peter Camion, an amazing artist that has created a fantasy world with his huge cast concrete sculptures all over his 310 acre property known as the Screaming Heads. Visitors are welcome to walk through his trails that wander through his garden and artwork, even getting to walk up and through the sculptures themselves. As we walked along the trails, our camera started to continuously beep at us. Unsure of the problem, we tried our best, but we still ended up losing our footage. It makes it even more sad since this was one of our favorite places we visited over the summer. Plus, we lost the moment that Karma was walking about on one of the platforms before getting spooked by her bag and almost running for the hills. Luckily, I grabbed her just in time to place her back in the safety of her bag. After all that was settled, we continued our walk until the loop took us back to the parking lot that was beside Peter's house. His house itself has also been touched by the artist, having a two-headed dragon with a princess and a giant head at the back of the house, which also is a studio. The Screaming Head is an amazing art exhibit and is run by donations, but it's also a private home. Please enjoy the views from the road if the parking lot gate is up. Thank you. Hey y'all, Chris and Pie back again. We are heading, actually we are here at the West Perry Sound Museum. District Museum oh. where they have a Tower Hill lookout. So we're gonna hopefully climb to the top of a big old tower and look out <laughs> <laughs> upon the view, okay? Yeah. So here we go! The follower. Yeah. She's following for me all over again. Always. Perry Sound train trussle was once the longest rail trussle east of the Rocky Mountains. After leaving Perry Sound, we stopped at Highway 69 Medicinal Shop for some pre-rolls. So we continued on to Sudbury, where Pi found the Fielding Memorial Park to stop for dinner. Where we enjoyed a beanie pasta salad with some absolutely delicious homemade rosemary sourdough bread made by one of my family members. Fielding Memorial Park is such a nice little spot that we decided to camp out for the night there. 
but we'll show you a little bit more of the park in our next episode. We are Cruising Vegans and thank you for watching. If you're feeling our vibe, please like, share and subscribe. And if you're craving some more, links down below.